and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 335. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Starstream. Hello, everybody. <laughs> today is full of derps. Yes, full of derps. Uh, this is the first time we're experimenting with the equipment. Well, for my side, it is doing the dual recording. Yeah, it's like what we're doing with the uh, review show, because uh, if you notice, uh, Silver Quill and Sapphire sound really good when they speak so yeah that's a win uh, other than that I'm gonna try and bring it here with some regulars that I know uh, examples you and other than that uh, we'll, we'll see we'll see uh, what else yeah um, if, for, for you guys who listened to last week's episode um, I think I need to do a bit of housekeeping and yes uh, I'm feeling well thank you for asking um, I went to the doctor last week or this week uh, it was on a Monday, but still went to the doctor because I had some trouble with my tummy. And yeah, I got to check that one out, did the blood test and whatever it is and whatever it was. And yeah, from what the doctor suspect or describe, I was a bit gassy and I may have some gastric. So yeah, uh, medicine was given and I am recovering slowly and yeah. Still, show we still go on. Show we still go on. Like, like my dedication from last week is a good example of how dedicated I am to the show. So yes, we'll we'll see. The only time when there won't be a show if there is a blackout. I lie. I have a laptop. It has a battery, and I have a phone. Yeah. So show will keep going on. <laughs> good job, Norman. Yep, yep. So um, the only thing that's going to annoy me is the stupid cough I have right now. <coughs> So, anywho, let's get into the news. Let's get into the news. So, Equestria Girls Roller Coaster Friendship, that was a thing. Uh, you remember that short? Uh, yeah, I do. I kind of do, I guess. Uh, was it on the DVD also? Uh, no, that was, I think, Discovery Family. It showed early. Th- that was a kind of special, Equestria Girls special. It was fun because it showed Rarity and Applejack trying to get a job at the theme park, but. They, one of them didn't get the job, so yay, drama, boo. But at the same time, too, the rest of the girls visit the theme park and whatnot. And there was a lot of fun to be had over there. And now, that version of the Roller Coaster Friendship is on YouTube, 10 minutes each. So I think there's four, five parts to it. So possibly 50 minutes or so. I don't 100% sure, but yeah, uh, it's available on YouTube in parts. But if you don't like watching it in parts, you can get the Roller Coaster of Friendship on Netflix on October 1st. Yay! That's great to hear. Yep, yep. Well, that will be another two days? That will be on Monday? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Uh, yes, it will be on a Monday. So yay! October 1st, Monday, Roller Coaster of Friendship hitting on American Netflix. So yay! And another thing that Netflix is going to have and is going to be cancelled out pretty soon. Hi! Well, at least better than a certain someone. Oh, I, I'm fed up with the Netflix drama, man. Like, it's this and that. It's like, oh my goodness, like, stop it, Netflix, stop it. But still, at least uh, you'll be able to watch some more Quest Regals. That's much fun. That's much fun. Yes, I can agree with that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Also, on to the next news. We go to Canada with Starlight Glimmer. Yay! I have such a weird feeling about this. Like, it's... Censorship. I know. Ooh. Okay. Uh, here's the thing. Certain words can't be said on children's TV because, well, they're possibly bad words or whatever it is, and it's technically negative negativity and whatnot. So that's why they don't want it to be on the show. So yeah. Uh, that's why they censor some stuff. We also do it here on the MBS show, but we're not that bad. We do the Josh Carlin. Carlin? Josh Carlin. I forgot how to say his name. But we do his method of censoring, which is the seven things you can't see on TV. So, yeah. Mm, I thought you would know that. Uh, Josh Carlin, if I'm not mistaken, is a comedian. He's pretty raunchy. Pretty bad. But still, that's another discussion for another day. But back to Canada. So... The first episode that Starlight appeared in, one of her lines got bleeped out or censored. Ooh. And Star, try and guess what did she say that warrant a censorship? Well, from the picture, we could see that it's a... 
it's a five letter words it's a five letter words and it starts with an F <laughs> what would that be I don't know I want you to guess without looking at the picture please <laughs> Uh, I don't know. They, I mean, we could know the usual, <laughs> the usual words, yeah, yeah, the, those yeah, yeah. usual swearing words. Yeah, yeah. But let, let's, let's, I, d- I don't know what to say it because okay, if okay. I say it, the sweetie bot. Yeah, you know. Let's let's take put her some work. Let's just... put her some work. She hasn't been on for a while now. Uh, that's not a word. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this one, this one. <laughs> uh, and also another one. That's not a word. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> oh no, this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but still, um, the actual word was fools, and oh wow, um, that's <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, and well, how could that be? Yeah, that is not even a swearing word. I know, but here's the thing, because on that channel, um, I'm not hundred percent sure where this this is shown on, but. The word like fools and losers need to be censored. And if you remember way back when, uh, cider was also not really censored but changed into apple juice. But it was so awkward. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. Um, but <laughs> okay, uh, there's a series on the YouTube's LMP episode censored something like that. You you know that one? If you scroll around EQD, I I think I heard about it. I mean. They usually, I mean, every, you know, it's not just uh, TV shows, even games also, they've done that. Oh, no. Uh, they've shown, like, a censorship, like, s- story behind those censorship <laughs> kind of things. I mean, I oh, still yeah. remember the notable ones, like the Pokemon. Oh, yeah, I mean, those. Whereby, was it Jinx? Yeah. Jinx was, like, changed. Yeah, for obvious reasons that are kind of dumb for us Asians, but kind of appropriate for the North Americans. Mm. Yeah, I will agree. But that's besides the point. But that's the point. Uh, for this one, yeah, I can understand why. But come on, fools is not that bad. Hmm. Oh, well, but still, uh, it's one of those network TV thingies. Like, it's one of those TV things that they need to do, and uh, I can't really blame them. I'm not happy with it. And moving on to the last, to do yeah. And moving on to the last news. This one, this news, this news is fun. Uh, last week I mentioned something about a DVD. Uh, the My Little Pony Best Gift Ever Holiday Special DVDs and whatnot. Yes, if you remember, that DVD was pushed back a bit and it was coming out on November something, something, something. I think November 29. Still, November 29 is okay because it's around the Christmas and it'll be a great Christmas gift, right? Well, if you want to celebrate early Christmas, then again, Australia may have celebrated way early. Oh yeah, they, they they no see Australia celebrate Christmas, but they celebrate Christmas in, in summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Instead of putting on their snowboards, they're putting on their jet skis. <laughs> ah, yes, yeah. that is true. But no, um, getting back on track. That's last week's news when I mentioned that. But it seems that on October twenty seventh, by the way, which we will be at Sea Pony Con. Come and visit us. The special is going to be airing on TV. What? Wow. Wait, is it really happening on Project C PonyCon? Any in the Fiesta C PonyCon? Yep, it's on the first day of Fiesta C PonyCon on the twenty seventh. Uh, oh yep. wow! That reminds me of like what happened back in twenty sixteen or was it twenty seventeen? Uh, we we oh no, it was twenty seventeen. Yes, when we had the Project C PonyCon, where we stream the new episodes on the during the convention day, which on Sunday yeah, I remember. Which technically you couldn't really do. <laughs> <laughs> As far as I thought, you, I couldn't. But in the end, it was like, oh, you know what? Let's do it. Yeah. But still. Uh, but so far, <laughs> luckily, it was everything was okay with that. But still, um, the episode or the special showing early is not that bad. But still, come on you're kind of messing up with the whole DVD thing. Like, people want the DVDs and then you give them this and then, no, no, I, I don't need that. I can just watch it on the TVs on October 27th at 1pm. I think Eastern, probably. Oh, by the way, it's a 44-minute special. So, yay. Much fun. It's two episodes into one. But still, I, I don't know what to say, man. Better than nothing. I know, true, true. But I don't know what to say, man. It's like, it's really annoying on my part. How so? Well, you'll be in convention. Uh, that's besides- uh, other than me, probably I'll just be staying at home. No, that's beside the point. But what I mean is like, 
they they try to do the special. They try to sell the product and whatnot. But suddenly you show Christmas on the twenty seventh October, which is not even Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I I do remember what like uh some uh some commercial what they do is that you know uh like they say oh we display like like right now say, for example yeah, yeah. we display like uh things like Halloween and then during Halloween day the next thing you know is they they already start planning for Christmas yeah yeah Thanksgiving but still ah oh, but still man that's just annoying that's just annoying <sighs> well mm-hmm. at least. A new episode or something special is coming out, so yay! Uh, well, it's not that bad. Well, it's not that bad. At least we get to uh, uh, ce- celebrate uh, Christmas early. Kind of, <laughs> but still, but still, but still. Uh, that's besides the point. And well, that's the news for this week. So let's head into the next topic. And next topic is what have we been doing with our week? So Star, how have you been, man? Like, what have you been doing? Not much has changed. Just been busy at work. Other than that, not much. I've just been playing games. Okay. <laughs> what have you been playing? Uh, some games, I guess. <laughs> and Nala, I just, I just been playing a bit of Tower Unite because they had uh, new updates and uh, what else? Not much. I think I just been playing Tower Unite and then I was playing a bit of uh some arcade games. Yeah, that was all I did. All right, all right. Reading manga, watching anime. The typical stuff, I I guess I could say. All the usuals then, alright, alright. <clears throat> but, uh, let's see, uh, how's work? Quite busy, that's all I could say. Other than that, how much I could say? It, it's it's a very normal job, I, it's all I could say. Alright, alright, no problem then. So I just hope that you enjoy the work. And let's see, as for me, uh, I have been, well... Doing a lot of Magic the Gathering. Like, I really am enjoying that. Like, Magic the Gathering came out uh, with their new booster set pre-release kind of thing this weekend. And yeah, I've been really heavy into the Magic, man. Like, I am so much in love with it. And other than that, um, well, a lot of Magics, uh, a lot of visiting the hospital. Well, not really. That was the only time. But uh, still need to kind of get into gear and to action need to well medicines and whatnot so yeah um, other than that uh, as for games nothing much I haven't been really playing a lot of games besides you know what Magic Gathering yeah just for once Overwatch has been limited for a bit I don't know why it's not that I'm not interested in it it's just it's been slowing down for me I'm sure I'll pick it up soon again I guess it's another one of those slow weeks not much news is coming in and out mm-hmm mm-hmm but still, I'm trying to reach for something. Like I'm just trying to remember what I really did. And yeah, besides the hospital and a lot of Magic the Gatherings, nothing much. Like, it's just the normal thing of me doing stuff normally. But so anyway, uh, that is a, another discussion for another day. And yeah, well, um, I think we reached the end of the show, which is kind of sad because I thought we have more to discuss uh well i i did see you post some food that's all i could say yeah <clears throat> kind of getting back on the swing of things like honestly it's not that i haven't been posting a lot of food pictures it's just like most of the food i ate is kind of the same and i didn't really want to repeat the cycle again you know well if you follow me on the instagram i post pictures of food recently yay that's awesome but yeah uh, that's besides the point uh, do follow me on Instagram. Uh, I think you can reach me at instagram.com slash Norman Sanzo. Yay. That's where usually I post some of my stuff. Yay. Go go there. But anywho, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themusicgmail.com. And you can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And Star, where can the good people find you? <coughs> People could find me on my DeviantArt and my Twitter. Both share the same name, Angelic or XX, where I post mostly on my DeviantArt if there is anything new. But so far right now, there is nothing new other than I still need to do some payment and whatnot. Uh, all right. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes and YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and switch the radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyVLive.com. And also, do 
do subscribe to the MBSU Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Zephyr Heart Song, review the Pony episodes, comics, and movies. And sometimes we like to discuss other movies, like, well, uh, we did Batman the Killing Joke. We also did a bit of Miraculous Ladybug. And we also did something else that might be coming out soonish. So keep your ears to the ground for that one. And if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. With every support, you will get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank myself like Amy, Charles, Nicky Knight, Tristan, Starstream, Lurker Cat, and also Jeffrey. Thank you so much, guys. You have been really, really awesome. Anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And this is Last Dream. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the Yes Show. See ya. See ya. See ya.